preach, we are to teach, we are to fight. So where you lead me, I will go. Touch my lips by your strength, I will go. I will go. Good night, everyone. God indeed has been good. At this time, we seize the opportunity to praise him, even through the opportunity of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for the experience of preaching the gospel. We thank you so much for the evangelist, Pastor Scott. Tonight, oh Father, we pray for a special anointing on him as he speaks your word. We pray, O oh God, that you would give him boldness, clarity of voice, clarity of thought. We pray that your Holy Spirit would be upon him in a mighty way. We pray that you would beat back the forces of darkness and evil. 
We pray that you would come against the forces of discouragement, O God, and distraction. We pray for the within congregation, O Father. May they be filled. May we be saturated with substance and richness from the bread of life. We pray for those that are still in the valley of decision, O God, seeking a bit more strength to cross over to make that final decision. But we pray that as the word goes out tonight, they would have a spirit of surrender, the spirit of openness to follow you wheresoever you lead. We claim victory. We claim success. And by your grace, O God, we know that many persons would come to the foot of the cross. Continue to add your favor and your providence over this tremendous evangelistic initiative. We pray for the forgiveness of our sins, the healing of our sicknesses, O Father. May you add life, light, and long days to all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. is empty no more traffic in the streets all the builders stools are silent no more time to harvest wheat busy housewives season labors in the court to no debate work on earth is all suspended as the gate
What is that? What is that? Well, you are. Come on, I want you to say it at the count of two. I ain't trying, preacher. <laughs> Let's go for it. At the count of two. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> oh, see that, that confusion. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful, preacher. <laughs> Wonderful. Kablamala. Shalakala halahu. As Pastor Noel to say. <laughs> That's the message tonight. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Uh, Let wait. me tell you up front. Tonight I'm speaking about the Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. The Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. We are going to be talking tonight all things Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. Amen. May I submit to you up front one time, same time. Yes, preacher. That the Holy Spirit is divine. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is God. Yes. We can prove it from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the book of Acts. What book did I say? Acts. Acts chapter 5. Mm -hmm. The third and fourth verses. Acts chapter 5. Yes. The third and fourth verses. And they will prove to us that the Holy Spirit is divine. Amen. That the Holy Spirit is God. Amen. But Peter said, Ananias. I want us to read with the reader. Let's, let's read with the reader. Could we do that tonight? Oh, yes. Let's go for it. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart? To lie to the Holy Ghost. To lie to who? The Holy Ghost. To the Holy Ghost. Uh huh. So they lied to the Holy Ghost. That is, is that clear? That is correct. All right, let's go. And to keep back part of the price of the land. Let's pause for a call. Yes. They lied to the Holy Ghost. Huh. And they kept back part of the price of the land. Yes. They decided to sell the land and give it to the cause of God. Yes. But then they, when they realized they got such a good deal, huh. they wanted to keep back part of the price. Yes. I want to talk spiritual things tonight. Yes. Many of you have made up your mind. Yes. To give your lives to Jesus. Yes. To say yes to Jesus. Huh. And I want to say, do not be like Ananias, my friends. Do not be like Sapphira. No. Who kept back after they have made up their minds. The Bible says he that put his hand to the plow huh. and turned it back mm -hmm. is not fit for the kingdom of God. That is correct. The Bible says remember Lot's wife. Yes. She was on her way out of Sodom. Huh. But then she looked back. Mercy. You have made up your mind to follow Jesus. Yes. Sir. There must be no turning back. No turning back. No turning back. Uh -huh. Don't hold back. No. Don't keep back. No. Don't back back. No. Don't backtrack. No. My friends, but for whatever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This Sabbath. Yes. Must be your baptism. Walk it. Don't hold back. Punch it. Don't keep back. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My friends, tonight, hmm. by the time we get to verse 4, remember that they lied to the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. By the time we get to verse 4, watch this now. The Bible says... Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Yes, sir. Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? What's the bombshell now? Thou, thou hast has not, not lied, lied unto, unto men, men, but unto, unto God. God. That is Bible. Do you realize what's happened here? Yeah. In the third verse. Huh. The Bible made it clear that they lied to the Holy Ghost. That is correct. In the next verse, huh. the Bible makes it clear that they did not lie to men, but they lied to God. Yes, yes. In other words, to lie to the Holy Ghost 
is the life to God. That is correct, preacher. That is correct. So the Holy Spirit is divine. Oh, yes. Here in the Bible, Holy Spirit and God is used interchangeably. Correct. correct. Because the Spirit of God is divine. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Therefore, tonight, the Holy Spirit is not a force. No, no. Make it plain, 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 preacher. The Holy Spirit is not an it. No. But the Holy Spirit is a person, yes. an intelligent being, an intelligent member of the Godhead. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on, preacher. You're teaching. The Bible tells us that we were made in the image and in the likeness of God. It's correct. And you and I, we are not its. No. Uh, we are not forces. No. But we are intelligent beings. That is correct, preacher. When the Bible says we are made in the image and likeness of God. Hmm. Huh? Father Jesus and Holy Spirit. When the Bible says that, it means that there are certain characteristics of God that we possess. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, preacher. No, there are two types of characteristics of God. Yes. Which would be that of the Holy Spirit. Yes. There are the communicable attributes of God. Certainly, certainly, you're going well. And there are the non-communicable attributes of God. Teach us again, preacher. It's like when you have a communicable disease huh, uh -huh. that can be passed on from one person to the next. Yes, yes. And then you can have a non-communicable disease yes. that cannot be passed on. Come on, come on, preacher. Follow me closely now. We're following you. So the communicable attributes of God are those ones that we are like. Yes. Who are made in his image and his likeness. Huh. For example, God is intelligent. Oh, yes. You are intelligent. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. God can love. Yes. You can love. Yes, sir. You speak to friends. You, yes. God can experience joy. Yes. We can experience joy. Yes. We were made in the image and likeness of God. Correct. We are intelligent beings. Huh. Amen. 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 But God's non-communicable attributes are those that cannot be passed on that, to human beings. That is correct. So God is divine. Yes. We are not. Not. God is omnipotent. Yes. Omnipresent. Huh. Omniscient. Yes, sir. And we are not. Come on, come on, preacher. So made in the image and likeness of God shows clearly that just as we are not it huh. and forces, huh. the Holy Spirit is not an it or a force, Correct. but the Holy Spirit is an intelligent being, an intelligent person, an intelligent member of the Godhead, amen. the Trinity. Somebody say amen. Amen, amen. You're dividing the word well, preacher. Go so on. The Bible says you lie to the Holy Ghost. Huh. You have not lied to men, but unto God. I serious thing. I think the word is crystal clear tonight. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. By the time we get to John chapter 16 huh. and verse 13, the Bible unpacks something else that we ought to consider tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, John chapter 16 and verse 13, I want us to go there and to read it aloud with the reader. Yes. Let's go for it. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. Let's read and come again. <laughs> How be it when he. <laughs> when who? He. When he, yes. do you see that? Yes. Not when it, no, but when he, yes, the spirit, spirit of gone. truth is come. What's the next word? He, he, yes, uh -huh. will guide you into all truth. Why? For, for he, for shall, who? For he, for who? He, for he shall not speak of himself. Go on. But whatsoever he shall hear. Whatsoever who? He. Whatsoever he. Shall hear. That shall he, he speak. Speak. He. Yes. Uh -huh. And he will show you things to come. So my friends, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Is a he. Yes. That's not Bible. an it. No. Is that clear tonight? Very clear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, preacher. Watch this. Watch this now. Watch this. Watch this. Hmm. The Holy Spirit is such an intelligent being, not an it or force, huh. that the Bible speaks of the he. Yes. Saying that he, the spirit of truth, uh -huh. that when he's, when he's come, yes. huh. so he has the ability 
to come. Yes, sir. The Holy Spirit is right here tonight. He has come. Amen. Amen. And you better believe it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go on. The Bible up. says he will guide. Yes. The Holy Spirit has come here tonight to guide you. Oh, yes. To sign that card for baptism. Make it plain. To walk onto the altar. To be prayed for. Yes. And to make up your mind that this Sabbath come what may rain or shine. Yes. Support or no support. I will be baptized. Amen. Amen. Take me to the water. Oh, yes. To be baptized. Come on, preacher. Walk it. Walk it. The text says that when he shall come, he will guide you. Huh. The text says that he shall speak. Uh-huh. My friends, the voice that you're hearing huh. is not just my voice, no. but it's the Holy Spirit speaking through me. That's correct. Saying, That's correct. this is the way. Yes. Work ye in it. Preach. As you hear the voice of the Holy Ghost, huh. harden not your heart. Huh. Today is a day of salvation. Oh, yes. Behold, now is the accepted time. Preach, Somebody say preacher. amen. 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 Preach. The Bible says not only will he speak. Huh. But he will show you. Yes. He will show you. Yes. The Holy Spirit will show you the vibes tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Praise God. Come on, preacher. My friends, huh. it's interesting that in our text, the Bible says that he guides into all truth. That is correct. That's Bible. That's the Bible calls him the spirit of truth. Yes. And my friends, this is the role of the Holy Spirit tonight at Mega Fest. Yes. Amen. The Holy Spirit did not come here for fun and frolic. No. Huh. For wine and dine. No. For eat your cricks and kicks. No. No way, Jose. Huh. The Spirit is here to guide you. Yes. Yes, you. Amen. Amen. Into all the truth of the living God. Somebody Praise say God. Praise me. God. Amen. Amen. Go on, preacher. Go tonight, on. Tonight. Tonight, let me submit to you that when you are saved and baptized, hmm. you receive. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on, preacher. Come on. That is correct. That I is said, correct. when you are saved and baptized, you receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I'm so thankful that I have the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Deep within my heart. Hallelujah. Because when you are saved and baptized, visiting friends, guests tonight, you will receive the Holy Spirit in your life. Amen. My friends, you will receive the very presence of God yes. in your life. Yes, sir. You will walk with power. Yes. You'll walk like a champion. Yes. Talk like a champion. Yes. Live like a champion. Yes. Think like a champion. Yes, man. Because the power of the Holy Ghost yes. is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the song says, Holy Spirit, rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Yes. Oh, comforter. And friend, how we need your touch again. Oh, yes. Holy Spirit, rain down. Praise God. Rain down. Come on, preacher. Let your power fall. Let your voice be heard. Yes, sir. Come and change our hearts. Yes. As we stand on your word. Oh, praise Holy God. Holy Spirit, rain down. Go on. Tonight, your prayer must be. We humbly beseech thee. Yes. Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. With love and the Spirit. Baptize us today. Amen. Amen. John the baptizer said, when Christ comes, Come. that he will baptize with the Holy Ghost yes. and with fire. Come on, preacher. I feel like preaching already. Preach, preacher, My preach. Friends, the power of the Holy Ghost uh -huh. will be like fire. Hmm. Shut up in your bones. Oh, yes. Because there is something within me yes. that holds the rain. Huh. Something within me yes. I cannot explain. Come on, preacher. All that I know, there is something within. Yes. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Like fire shut up in my bones. Come on, preacher. Get... You know, sometimes huh. I'll feel discouraged. Yes. And think my work's in vain. Mercy. But then the Holy Spirit comes. Hallelujah. And revives my soul Go on. again. Go on. I'm thankful for the Spirit. Yes. Grateful for the Spirit. Go on, preacher. Happy for the Spirit. Go on. Thirsty for the Spirit. Yes, sir. Revived by the Spirit. Yes. Sanctified by the Spirit. Come on, there. Rejoicing in the Spirit. Yes. Worshiping in the Spirit. Give us more. Sealed by 
by the Spirit. Yes, sir. Healed by the Spirit. Yes. Led by the Spirit. Preach. Fed by the Spirit. Go on. Loose. Hallelujah. Loose yourself, Hallelujah. preacher. Loose. I feel him in here tonight. In Jesus' I name. I want to say to you tonight that in your time of discouragement oh. and despair, yes. the Holy Spirit keeps you singing. Yes, sir. Keeps you preaching. Yes. Keeps you worshiping. Yes, sir. Keeps you praying. Yes. Keeps you trusting. Oh, yes. Keeps you coming. Go on. Keeps you smiling. Yes. Keeps you serving. Come on. Keeps you living. More Keeps preacher. Keeps you giving. Go on. Keeps you believing. Preach, preacher. Hallelujah. Preach. Preach. I say, preacher. oh, what a flame. Yes. Of living fire. Yes, sir. We shone so bright. Come on, preacher. In saints of old. Yes. Which bade their souls to heaven aspire. Mm -hmm. Come in distress. <laughs> in danger bold. Yes, sir. Remember, Lord, the ancient days. Come on. Renew thy work. Thy grace restore. Yes, sir. And while to thee your hearts we raise. Yes. On us thy Holy Spirit praise pour. Praise God. Praise oh, God. Oh, somebody ought to say, over homie. Yes, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Come on. Bade my trembling. Yes, man. Heart and brow. Give us more. Fill me with thy hallowed presence. Go on, preacher. Come, oh, come. Go on. And fill me no. Come on, preacher. Because I on. need thee in the morning. Yes. Need thee in the evening. Yes. Need thee at midnight. Yes. Need thee at twilight. Yes, sir. Need thee at dark night. Yes. Need thee at sunlight. Uh huh. I say, sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Sweet heavenly dove. Go on, preacher. Stay right here with us. Yes. Filling us with your love. Hallelujah. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Hallelujah. Without a doubt, we know Hallelujah. that we have been revived. Yes. When we shall leave this place. Hallelujah. I came by to say to somebody, understand huh. that before you leave here tonight, that your pleasure and commitment must be, I say yes. Yes. Lord, yes. Amen. To your will and to your way. Yes, preacher. I say yes. Yes. Lord, yes. Yes. I will trust you and obey. Oh, yes. When your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I'll agree. Yes. And my answer will be yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Lord, yes. Preach it, preacher. Hallelujah. Yes, man. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, preacher. You'll get hot now. Go on, go on. Tonight, uh -huh. tonight hmm. before you accept God in your life, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit works from the outside in. Yes. But when you submit to the working of the Holy Spirit in your life, hmm. and you make the choice to accept God in your life. Yes. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. Oh, yes. He fills you. Yes. So we talk about the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And he now works with you from the inside out. Yes, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, to accept God in your life is to have the Holy Spirit. Yes. To have the Holy Spirit is to have God in your life. Correct. When you are saved from sin. And get baptized as an outward expression of your acceptance of Christ. Yes. It is impossible huh. for the devil to possess you. Well said. Well said, preacher. Well there said. There is no need to fear. No, sir. Why? Because the Holy Spirit and the evil spirits cannot dwell in the same space no, no. at the same time. No, no. It can't When walk. the Holy Ghost fills your life. Yes. When you accept Christ tonight and decide to be baptized, it is impossible yes, sir. for you to be possessed uh -huh. by an evil spirit. You're correct, preacher. We hear you. Go on, go My on. My friends, tonight, hmm. your greatest safeguard mm -hmm. against demon possession, which yep. is very real, yes. is to accept Jesus in baptism yes, yes. and to continue to live with the infilling of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. in your life. Amen, amen. Otherwise, oh, mercy. you'll find yourself every Sunday. Mercy. <laughs> and every Tuesday. Mercy. Mercy. Going someplace. Mercy. For deliverance. Mercy. For so-called deliverance. Mercy. I say so-called deliverance. So-called. Because the Bible decrees and declares. Not all who say, Lord, Lord, Have mercy. shall enter the kingdom. Yeah. But those who do the will. Of my Father yes. in heaven. Yes. For many will say in that day, I have cast out demons. Ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Jesus says, I never knew you. Mercy. Depart from me. Mercy. You worker of sin. 
Mercy. You know what is sin? Yeah. Sin is a breaking of God's law. Yes, sir. Of God's commandments. Yes. So not all who say, Lord, Lord. Huh. My friends, your church affiliation must go according to the word of God. Oh, yes. That's a part. The part. Bible decrees and declares to the law and to the testimony. Yes. If they speak not according to this word, huh. it's because there is no light in them. Come on, preach up. Preach it. Preach it, preach Don't follow a pastor. No. Don't follow a priest. No. But follow Jesus. Yes, amen. He's the one that died for you. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Walk it, walk it, preacher. Walk it. Uh -huh. Tonight. Uh -huh. Tonight. Uh -huh. There's some persons who believe mm. that when one receives the Holy Spirit, mm. that person must speak with what they call tongues. Eh, 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 eh. Preacher, take a drink on that. Take a drink and cool down. <laughs> Some people uh -huh. Uh -huh. believe believe that when one receives the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. they must say "Kablamala Shalakalahalu." Well, 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 Pastor. Well, <laughs> that last one. <laughs> you need to pay attention now. We paying attention, my friends. There are two questions uh -huh. that we need to ask at this point. Mm -hmm. One, what? Is the gift of tongues. All right. That's a good question. Hmm. And then, do you must speak in tongues? That's another good question. As evidence hmm. that you have received the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You got to tell us. We'll that. answer these two questions from the word of God. Oh, yes. That's if it's go. not in the Bible, we don't want it. We don't want it. Huh. But if it's in the Bible, that settles it. Yes, sir. We want In it. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Preacher. Let's allow the Bible to answer the first question. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What is the gift of tongues? Teach us, preacher. Teach us from the Bible. My friends, the gift of tongues hmm. is one of the many spiritual gifts right. in the Bible. Yes. And a spiritual gift is an ability that you receive from God. Come on. That is sanctified and set apart yes, sir. for holy use. Well said. Hmm. Well said. My friends, mm. I want to submit to us that the gift of tongues huh. is the ability given by God yes. to speak other languages. Well put, preacher. Well put. You're making Let me it say it again. Clear. Yes. The gift of speaking in tongues is the ability given by God to speak other languages. You're correct. You're correct. Now, what is a tongue? Hmm. A tongue is an intelligent language. Yes, it is. The New Testament was written in Greek. Yes. And so the Greek word for tongue is the word glossa. Yes. Which means a spoken language. Yes. I said a spoken language. Hmm. A language that people speak and can understand. Yes, sir. Not kabla mala shalakala halahu. I don't know what you mean there. My friends, that is not spoken in any nation. Uh oh. And not understood by any people. Have mercy. Uh -uh. My friends, as a matter of fact, in the concise Oxford Dictionary, tongues hmm. refers to as a particular language. Right, right. Hmm. So, for example, for example, you may, you may talk about somebody's mother tongue. Yes, yes. Being Spanish. Yes. Meaning, the main language is Spanish. That is correct, preacher. That is correct. Or French. Teach us, teach us. Or English. English, English, yes. Tongue and language hmm. are used interchangeably. In the Bible. You're correct, preacher. You are and correct. And also in our world today. Yes. So we speak of the French tongue. Yes. Or the French language. Am I correct? You are correct. And so tonight, hmm. there are synonyms in other words. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the gift of tongues mm -hmm. is the ability given by God mm -hmm. to speak other intelligent and spoken languages. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, preacher. Let's prove it further from the Bible. Yes. Acts chapter 2. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2. We mm. begin at the third verse. Yes. Acts chapter 2. We begin at the third verse. Uh-huh. And there appeared unto them 
cloven tongues like a fire, and as and it sat upon each of them. Uh -huh. The fire uh -huh. represents the presence and power of the Holy Ghost. You are correct. Uh -huh. Verse 4. Uh -huh. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. They spoke with other tongues. Yes. In other words, other languages. Yes, sir. We'll prove it in a while. Yes. Verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Follow this closely. Yes. So, so you had, so let me, get, the, the Bible talks about devout men. Yes. But it came, though they were Jews, they came from every nation. Every nation, yes. So let's unpack this. Yeah. Let's get the setting. Let me, let me give you the background before I give you the breakdown. All right. <laughs> All right. You see, there were people from different nations, as we have seen. Correct. From every nation under heaven. Yes. And when people are from different nations, one of the things you realize is that they speak different languages. That is correct, preacher. That Am is, I correct? You are correct and right. My friends, so they came from different places uh -huh. in Jerusalem. Yes. Sorry, to Jerusalem. Hmm. Bear in mind that these people, these visitors to Jerusalem, by and large, they were not Christians. Mm -hmm. Correct. They were not followers of Christ. Come on. They were Jews. Yes. And they came from the diaspora. Yes. They were JCBs, if yes. you please. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes. Lord have mercy. <laughs> and they came to the Jewish festival. Yes. And so, having lived in the diaspora, <laughs> other nations, having grown up in foreign. Yes. You're not hearing the preacher. We hear you, preacher. Having been born in foreign land. Yes. They spoke other languages. That's correct. But still they maintain the Jewish religion. Yes. So they came to this Jewish festivity. Huh. Now they came to this Jewish festival. It was a grand opportunity that God had for them to receive the gospel. Amen. My friends in Jerusalem. Yes. From the Christians. And so when they would return to those nations from which they came, yes. they in turn would spread the gospel. Amen. And so the church of God will grow and multiply. Praise God. Go and on. And God was going to seize the moment. We like that. Because we the will of God is that all men should be saved. Amen. Amen. Go on, preacher. Therefore, the Christian church would grow. My friends, at the time, at that time, hmm. the Christians... Back then, were from Galilee. Yes. When yes. you read the Bible, you realize that the early disciples were from Galilee. Yes, yes. And so, my friends, a lot of the early work was done in Galilee. Yes. Therefore, the Christians in this setting, in our mm. passage, were Galilean Christians. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who spoke the language or the tongue of the Galilean people. Oh, yes. Yes. And they did not speak the language or the tongue of the people of these nations from foreign. You're correct. From the diaspora. You're correct. How is God going to spread the gospel huh. to people who speak another language? Oh, uh, question. God has to do something supernatural. Yes, sir. And that's where he gave the Galilean Christians the gift of other tongues. Oh, yes. Or the gift of other languages. Well explained, preacher. Well explained. So by the time we get to verse 6, uh -huh. the Bible would say now, let's read together. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. Why? Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. My friends, the word of God is crystal clear. Very clear. God gave his followers the gift of tongues. Yes, sir. And people from every nation who came to Jerusalem that day, huh. they heard the gospel in their own languages. Oh, yes. yes, man. Yes. Go on, preacher. So tongue and language, they are used interchangeably. Certainly. A synonym. Yes. God gave the Galilean Christians the gift of tongues. Yes. And people from foreign land heard the message in their own 
language. Come on, come on, preacher, teach us, teach us. It was not kabla mala shalakarahu. Mercy, mercy. Uh, uh. By the time we get to verse 7, uh -huh. the Bible makes my point clear. Verse 7. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Crystal clear. Yes. The foreigners were amazed. Yes. That these people from Galilee. Yes. Could speak their language. Come on there, man. Because God did something supernatural. Amen. 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 Praise God. My friends, verse 8. Verse 8. And how hear we every man in, in our, our own, own tongue. tongue. Wherein, Wherein we were born. We were born. Huh. The word of God cannot get any clearer that is clear, than that. Clear, clear, clear. Because the Bible says they heard them, they heard the message in their own language. Yes, sir. But mm. now in verse 8, it says they heard the message in their own tongue. Yes. It's a synonym. Yes. It's one and the same. Amen. The word of God is crystal clear. Very clear. They said not only their own tongue, but their own tongue wherein. Yes. They were born. They were born. Uh, uh. Nobody is born speaking kabla mala shalakala halahu. Mossy, mossy. These were real intelligent languages. Yes. Huh. Of the people. From verse 9 and onward, the Bible will tell us where these people came from. Yes. Giving us an idea and understanding of the different languages that they spoke. Yes. So where did they come from? Verse 9. Parthians and Medes. Everyone reading. And Elamites. Uh -huh. And the dwellers of Mesopotamia. Yes, sir. And in Judea. And Cappadocia. In Pontus and Asia. Persia and Pamphylia in yes, Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. Verse 11. Cretes and Arabians. So people from different nations, uh -huh. different languages. Yes. You see it for yourself. Yes. The Bible says, we, we do hear them, them speak in, in our, our tongues. 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 The wonderful, wonderful works of, of God. God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Glory to God. Come on, preacher. You're teaching us. So these were not unknown tongues. Come on now. But these were tongues and languages that the people from foreign spoke and they understood. They understood. The message in their own language. Yes. When God allowed the Galileans to speak. These languages. Amen. Amen, preacher. My friends, there, there were 15 different nationalities. Yes. Plenty. Hmm. My friends, the word of God is crystal clear oh, yes. tonight. Yes. Very clear. However, you will notice that the practice in some Christian churches huh. is quite different from this. Yes. In many Christian churches, what you have happening is kabla mala. Mercy, what is that? But the biblical passage is not referring to this. No. Huh. There is no way in the Bible that supports this practice. Hmm. In fact, the scriptures emphatically and explicitly rejects yes. the practice of speaking in an unknown tongue Mercy. or language when others cannot understand. That is correct. That interpret. Is correct translate or cannot make sense of it. That's correct. That's correct, preacher. The Bible further teaches that if one speaks in a language not understood by the congregation, huh. it must be translated. It must be, preacher. So that it could be understood mm -hmm. or else hmm. it must not be spoken. Wow. And used in the church services. Wow. Wow. Come Let's on, look preacher. at it now. Huh. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Paul is addressing the matter of speaking in tongues. But remember, it has to do with languages. Yes. Real intelligent languages, not kablamala, huh. shalakala halahu. Ah, you got to interpret, preacher. <laughs> huh. Let's go for it from verse 5. 
I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. Let's pause for a cause. Uh huh. Paul prefers them to prophesy rather than to speak in tongues. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this idea that once you have the Holy Spirit, you must speak in tongues huh. as if it's the premier gift. The Bible doesn't teach that. No, no, no. Paul himself says, but rather that, that you prophesy. prophesy. Yes. Go yes. on. Watch this. Watch this now. Watch for, this. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues. Greater Ex is the one who prophesies. Yes. Than the one who speaks in with tongues. tongues. Go on. Except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. Huh. Except he interpret. Yes. But when you go to many of the churches, oh boy. there is no interpreter. Mercy. Everybody, kabla mala, shalakala halahu. Interpret, please, preacher. And nobody interprets. Mercy. The Bible makes it crystal clear that it must be interpreted. Oh, yes. Yes. The reason why there's no interpreter, it is because it's not a real authentic language. It's not. It's not. Wow. Mercy. My friends, let's go to verse 9. Paul uh -huh. is speaking. So likewise he, except ye utter by the tongues words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? So the tongue that the Bible is speaking about, these are words. Words. Easy huh. to be understood. Correct. Correct. So when I say to you, Jesus loves you. Oh, yes. You understand that. Yes, sir. When I said to you, come to the altar to give your life for baptism, you understand that. Yes, I understand that. But when I say, Kablam Allah, Shalakala Halahu. Interpret, please. I don't understand. Uh, uh. My friends, <laughs> the Bible says, how shall it be known uh -huh. what is spoken? For you shall speak. Stop. Mm -hmm. Into the, the air. air. Uh -huh. Watch verse 11 now. Watch verse 11. Theref therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Now, this crowned the deal. Yes. Because a barbarian, <laughs> you see, the Romans saw the foreigners. As barbarians. Yes. So for the Roman people, people from foreign lands who spoke other languages, who spoke Spanish and, and French and other languages, uh -huh. hmm. as far as the Romans were concerned, they were barbarians. barbarians yes. Because they spoke another language. Yes. Huh. My friends, so the Bible says, therefore, if I no, not the meaning of the voice. I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian, yes. meaning a foreigner. Yes. Mm. It has to do with languages. Oh, yes, yes. Huh. Verse 13. Mm. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. So when the Bible says in an unknown tongue, it's not speaking about kabla mala shalakalahu. No. It is speaking about a language yes. that is not understood by the audience. Yes. If I go to preach to you in Russian, huh. Russian is an intelligent language spoken by Russians. Yes, sir. But I believe all of you or most of you will not understand me if I preach in Russian. No, no, no. No. That is what the Bible is saying. Yes. The Bible is saying, Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue or an unknown language mm -hmm. pray that he may interpret yes, yes. or translate. Yes, sir. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than ye all. Paul is speaking. Yes. And Paul is saying that I speak more tongues. Yes. More languages than all of you. Yes. You know true. why? Yes. You know why? Tell us. Paul was not speaking kabla malash shalakala halahu. No. Huh. Paul was a very intelligent person. That's correct. 
Paul was a scholar. Yes, he was. He was schooled by one of the genius of his day and age. Yes, yes. Paul knew different languages. Yes, he knew that. Intelligent languages. Mm -hmm. So Paul could go on different missionary trips. Yes. Remember that? Yes. And he can identify and connect with the people. Correct. Because Paul spoke different languages. Oh, yes. And Paul is making a point. Paul says that mm. I speak with tongues more than all of you. All of you. Huh. Yet, huh. In, the Yet church, in the church, uh -huh. I had rather speak five words with my understanding. Yes, sir. That by my voice I might teach others also than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Huh. Do you see that? Yes. That is crystal clear yes. tonight. Yes. Why is Paul so reluctant huh. or careful about speaking in other tongues or languages in the church? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. Why Paul doesn't want to speak French and Russian to you? Tell an us. An English-speaking congregation. Tell us. Paul explains in verse 22. Mm. What does the Bible say, everybody? Wherefore, tongues are for, for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth, serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. In other words, when I speak in a foreign language, mm -hmm. it is for the purpose of helping people who are not believers yes. to hear the message in their language. Amen. That they can have the opportunity to be saved. Correct. So when the foreigners came from the diaspora, huh. the disciples were given the gift of different languages yes. so that the unbelievers huh. can hear the message in their language and be saved. Amen. Amen. Paul says the gift of languages or tongues are a sign would be a sign to unbelievers. Amen. Amen. Yes. It's not for sure. No. Verse uh, 27. Uh-huh. Mm. If, if any man speak an unknown tongue. A language. Let it be by two. Uh-huh. Or at the most by three. At the three. most. Go on. And that by course. In other words, in turns. Yes. And let one interpret. My friends, this is not happening in the churches. Mercy. Paul says you must do it two or three for the most. Yes. But what happens? Everybody. Oh, Lord. Oh, mercy. Paul says do it in turns. Yeah. But they're doing it all together. Have mercy. And Paul says, let one interpret or translate. Yes, sir. But there's no translator Must or interpreter. Huh. E, e, e. My friends, hmm. verse 28 now, mm -hmm. Paul says, But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence. Yes. In the church. In the church. Huh. And let him speak to himself and to God. Ay, ay, ay. So if I come to an English-speaking congregation like this, uh -huh. and I speak Chinese, Mercy. I can speak to God in Chinese for myself. Yes. Yeah. Because when I begin to speak in Chinese to everybody, hmm. then something wrong. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> The Bible says, watch this, watch this. Mm -hmm. By the time we get to verses 32 and 32, the Bible says this. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Uh-huh. So but, don't get too emotional. Yeah. You must have self-control. Yes. And some people get over, overly emotional and feel they cannot control themselves. Huh. But when you are a Christian, one aspect of the fruit of the spirit is self-control. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. self -control. Discipline. Yes, sir. Come on, Paul preacher. says, and the spirits of the prophets uh -huh. are subject to the prophets. Yes, sir. Huh. Watch verse 32 now. For God is not the author of confusion. No way, Jose. But of peace. 
as in all churches of the saints. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. By, by the way, I missed a verse. One of the verses in this passage tells where Paul says that if people come and hear you speaking all of this um, different languages, <laughs> will they not say that you are mad? Verse 23, 23, yeah. Hmm. And that's why he now says that God is not the author of confusion. Correct, correct. But of peace. Yes. In all the churches of the saints. Amen. There must be order. Yes, sir. In the church. Amen, amen. God is not the author of confusion. No, sir. No, sir. Tonight, I want to submit to us that you must notice that the things that Paul is warning the church against huh. are the same things that are practiced in many churches today. Have mercy. Hmm. But they are one of two sources. Hmm. Either it's directed by the Holy Spirit yeah. or by a different spirit. Have mercy. But when we read the Bible, it cannot be the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. Huh. Make it plain, preacher. Make it plain. And then there are other practices that are done. Hmm. Frotting in the mouth. Mercy. Spinning and, and rolling. Mercy. Talking about being slain in the, in the spirit. Eh -eh. The holy laugh. Have mercy. Being in a frenzy. Have mercy. But God is not the author of confusion. The Bible says so. Huh. Huh. And I once heard of, of a situation, and my understanding is that it's true because many persons testified of it. Huh, mercy. Where? Huh. In this church service, something happened. Something happened. People began to, to do things, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one sister began to raise up her clothes. Mercy. And, and the other sisters decided to take a sheet to block her, to give her privacy. Yes. Eh, eh. And the pastor said, let the glory shine. Mercy. Eh. What? Have mercy. You don't hear what I'm saying. Yes, I hear you. I heard about it. Yes. <laughs> eh, eh. You don't hear what I'm saying. What is that? You're telling me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mercy. That's confusion. But one aspect of the fruit of the Spirit huh. is self-control. Amen, amen. Self-discipline. Yes, sir. And so tonight, I want to submit to us that the evidence that you have the Holy Spirit is not kabla melash shalakala halahu. No, no, no. But the evidence that you have the Holy Spirit yes. is from the Matthew chapter 7 and verse 20. Uh -huh. What does the Bible say, everybody? Wherefore, by the fruits you shall know them. How would you know that someone has a spirit? By the fruits. By uh -huh. the fruit, by the lifestyle. Yes, sir. Galatians 5. Yes. And let's begin at verse 22. What does the Bible say? By contrast, the verse fruits 22. Of, oh, yes. of the spirit is joy, is love rather, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, Faithfulness, gentleness, yes, sir. and self-control. Self-control. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. There is no law against such things. Hallelujah. Let's pause here. Uh -huh. My friends, that's evidence. Evidence. That you have the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Not Kablamala, because the Bible doesn't teach that. No. We have seen that what the Bible is talking about would be intelligent languages. Yes, sir. Like Russian, Chinese, French, languages spoken in different places. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when we examine the Bible, every believer does not possess the gift of tongues. No, no. Let's go to you quickly, 1 Corinthians 12. Huh. And let's read quickly from verse 7. Let's do it quickly. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. So one person has that gift. Yes. Go on. To another the word of knowledge. Another one has that gift. By the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. Another has that gift. To the, another the gift of healing by the same Spirit. Everybody doesn't have the same gift. To another the working of miracles. Yes, sir. To another prophecy. Uh -huh. To another the zoning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. Meaning different kinds of languages. Yes, yes. But everyone doesn't have it. No. Because the next person has the gift of interpretation. interpretation of tongues. Verse 11. But 
all these worketh that one and the same self spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. My friends, the word of God. Hallelujah. It's crystal clear. Crystal clear, preacher. And my friends, the reason God gives the gift of speaking in different languages mm -hmm. is that people from every language yes. can be saved. Amen. Revelation 14, verse 6. The Bible says here, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Yes, sir. Having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. And to every nation and kindred and, and tongue, tongue. In other words, and language. People. Yes. And people. Amen. Amen. My friends, when this gospel is preached. Yes. God expects that people who hear the gospel. Amen. Should respond. Yes, sir. And this is the response God expects you to make tonight. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 28. Uh -huh. Verses 19 and 20. This is the response. When the gospel is preached for your salvation. The Bible says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's what we are doing tonight. Yes, sir. What's the result? Baptizing them. Baptizing them. Uh -huh. God expects that when you hear the gospel, you should be baptized. Amen. And God desires that you should be baptized this Sabbath. Amen. Amen. This Saturday. Yes, sir. Bapti One time, same time. Oh, yes. Baptizing them in the, in name, the name of the Father. And of, and the, of Son, the Son. And of and the Holy of Ghost. the Holy Ghost. Amen. Watch this. Teaching them to observe all, all things, things. Whatsoever I have commanded you. That includes the Ten Commandments. Amen. The Sabbath Commandments. Yes, sir. My friends, everything that God commands us. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. As we end tonight. Yes. Let's go back where we began. Mm -hmm. We began in the book of Acts. Yes. And I gave you the background and then the breakdown. Yes. We are back in the same setting. Acts chapter 2. Same setting. Peter is speaking on God's behalf. Yes. And the Holy Spirit is working. I'm speaking on God's behalf tonight. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is working. That is correct. Bringing Peter. conviction to your heart. Oh, yes. I do not doubt it. I know it deep within my heart. Amen. That the Spirit is bringing conviction to you yes, tonight. Sir. Yes, sir. There is no doubt in my mind. Come on, preacher. What must be the response huh. to those who the Spirit brings conviction to? Tell us. Peter, they asked Peter, what shall we do? Yes. Peter said, let's go for it. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? What then, shall we do? Here's the, what you must do. Yes. Then Peter, Peter said, said unto, unto them, them, repent. Amen. And be baptized. Amen. Amen. Every one, one of, you of you for the remission of sin. Amen. And you shall receive. Yes, sir. The gift, the indwelling, the infilling of the Holy Ghost. That Somebody is Bible. Say amen. That, that is Bible preacher. Amen. My friends, and this is for all of you. Because yes. Peter now says, for the promise uh -huh. is, is unto, you. unto you. And, and to, to your, your children. children, your family. And My to all parents. Huh. The promise is not just for big people. No. But for your children. Yes. Encourage your children. Yes. To give their lives to Jesus. Amen. And when they say they want to give their lives to Jesus, don't tell them they're too young. No. Amen. Encourage them. Yes. Walk down to the altar with them. Yes. Let them be baptized this Sabbath. Amen. The promise is to every one of you and to your children. Amen. And to all that are far, far off, even, even as, as many as, as the, Lord the Lord our God, God shall, shall call. Amen. Amen. Tonight he's calling you. Praise God. He's calling you. Praise God. Tell me what are you going to do? Huh. For your time has come. For life brands new. Yes. He's calling. Yes. He's calling you. Amen. My friends, you you have heard a message tonight. 
Praise God. He's calling you. Yes, he is. Tonight. What a message. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Oh, have mercy. But God can forgive you tonight of every past sin. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And tonight, if you desire to be forgiven of every past sin, I want you to raise your hand. I raise my hand first. Oh, praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have been called to follow Christ. We are to preach. We are to teach. We are to fight. So where you lead. In all the nations, in all the world 